हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फाइव मिनट्स अनकट कन्वर्सेशंस पावर्ड बाय हसन हील्स टुडे वी हैव डॉक्टर कृपा चित्रे फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजी फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑफ मेडिसिन जॉर्ज हॉपिन स्कूल ऑफ मेडिसिन विद अस टुडे एंड थैंक यू कृपा ऑफ कोर्स फॉर जॉइनिंग अस टुडे फॉर दिस कन्वर्सेशन एंड कृपा डिसाइडेड टू टॉक अबाउट इम्पोस्टर सिंड्रोम विच इज अ वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इट मस्ट हैव बीन ऑलवेज देयर बट या बट देन it's uh, we get to hear these terms very regularly now mm-hmm. and i'm so thankful that you chose this topic and i'll be starting the timer finally <laughs> <laughs> so kripa uh, why imposter syndrome uh because this is something that a lot of people have been going through but is not talked about is not uh, people don't even know that they're going through it they just keep feeling that this is something normal that's happening with them uh and it is very in uh, uh like mm, ha- it's it's something that is happening to people in healthcare more so it's very disproportionate as to how what type of people experience this it's probably because of uh, people in healthcare are overworked just because the kind of work that they do like whether it's research or whether it's uh, uh, medicare or whatever hmm. so uh, yeah and i have been going through some like it uh, going through it like at some level not like completely like depressed because of it or something <laughs> like that <laughs> but yeah so when i got to uh, when i got to know about this syndrome there was a seminar in iisc where uh, they were talking about it and i'm like okay there are some points that i kind of relate to yeah yeah and i started dwelling into it and i'm like i think maybe i am going through something like that at some small level so i thought i would rather talk about it let people know and if people are dealing with it maybe uh my talk might help them yes. get some more insight as to yes. how to deal with it. yes uh, yeah. an imposter syndrome so, yeah. so imposter syndrome is more like a feeling we can it say is. Yes. right it is yeah. it is more like a feeling it is a set of thoughts, thoughts. or the chain of thoughts that we uh, go through right. so um in very simple terms from your perspective what would you say what is imposter syndrome uh i'll say like a couple of words which you might be able to relate to one is like you externalize your successes which is like all other factors you'll think of first which have caused that success more than you yourself and your capabilities and then you internalize your um, uh, failures or things that you're struggling with in life because you'll be like or oh, this happened or this is not working is because of me mm. at that point you won't think of the other external factors which would be actually playing role i mean i'm not saying you wouldn't be the part mm. you are but you would solely put it on your head that oh i'm not doing enough it's not me i'm mm. uh, sorry it is me it's not uh, you know it couldn't be anything else that is that could be a problem mm. that kind of keeps bugging you you keep thinking you're not uh, good enough you're not doing enough and you overwork yourself you and that kind of breaks your self esteem like big time and then that affects your self esteem in all aspects of life it begins at work and it affects all aspects of your life and that is kind of a shitty feeling like imposter syndrome is very very close to my heart because i myself have gone through this kind of you know that mental Head, yeah. stress Head, you yeah. can say that stress that you go through multiple times in my life and i see a lot of my friends some people who might know very well uh, go through it uh, you know on a very regular basis that am i good enough or not right. you know am i doing it right what did i do for 6 7 years of my phd and true. what uh, what what am i doing in my post doc yeah. what was i doing earlier so you keep on questioning yourself uh, yeah totally i can actually relate <laughs> to it and i'm sure that a lot of, a lot of people people yeah. will relate to it uh, generally how do you deal with it Uh so one thing that I've learned uh if looking at me as a person is like I have been seeking validation and I was doing this like subconsciously maybe but now that I think of it it was my way of dealing with my imposter because uh I wasn't myself sure as to whether I'm doing is enough is good whether it's um because I questioned myself <laughs> every time so I would say people should have a person to fall back upon to like validate and by validating i mean it should be healthy validation like like a sympathetic work. mentor yes okay. somebody who's trying to tell you to maintain balance as to what you've done is enough and is good enough and you should be happy with it or should also when i say healthy that person should be capable of being honest to say that no you're wrong this time 
because just because you're having imposter syndrome doesn't mean that all failures are not going to be yours mm-hmm. there has to be a balance so you can't always just because you've identified yourself being an imposter you cannot tip off the balance saying okay now i'm gonna whatever failures will happen i will actively say that it's not me that is yeah. not gonna happen no, right no, yeah no no so maintaining that balance is very important that's why i think uh, even though you validate you also think evaluate and s- judge the situation use that validation for helping and not relying heavily because there was a time mm. when <laughs> please carry on don't worry <laughs> there was a time when i started relying on the validation so much that i was not using my own brain ah uh, that should not happen that is right, not healthy right, then you are right. not being independent then yes. you are losing your independence. yes that's that thank you uh, but then yes i'll stop this what are the key takeaways that you can say uh from syndrome or from the talk uh, i mean yes <laughs> <laughs> from the syndrome mm-hmm. from the talk from your perspective uh i think uh first of all people should identify if they are going through something like just have an open mind to accept that they are going through something like that it's not something that's bad there are a lot of factors in like symptoms or uh feelings of this imp- imposter syndrome that you might want to e- let them be and use it to your advantage because when you are going through that feeling you either try to procrastinate or you try to over prepare yourself yes. just because you feel that you're not good enough yes which is a good thing if you're over preparing to yeah. some extent it's yeah. good yes so use that as a, as a leverage yes. to work upon don't yes. then uh, stop over there and like i said validation and challenging yourself yes. if you feel you are not you're having the capability of doing something but you feel like doing it or you yes. want to do it just push yourself that extra mile or have somebody push you yeah like you if you know that this person is going uh, if you're going to ask somebody that hey should i do this if you think that going to person is going to say yes then please ask him yes because that one yes will push you to start or begin somewhere and then it will just fall into place then yeah. you will not question your ability once you're into that sys- yes. process yes yes so wow <laughs> <laughs> love your energy i oh, i love your energy and thank you so much for you know educating us about imposter oh, syndrome i'm not an educator i just shared <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm mean, telling us about or sharing your experiences yeah. about imposter syndrome and uh, i think a lot of people with rela- will relate with it because it's so. not just about you know scientists and healthcare workers or pe- working people as a mom i can say that i feel yeah. like mom guilt i i can say that mom guilt is a form of imposter syndrome yeah. am i doing enough as a mom right. of course so and there there's a drawback that the child is not going to validate saying mom you're doing okay <laughs> is he or she is going to cry you don't yeah. know why yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so thank you so much and i hope uh, people can relate to this and please share your thoughts we would like to know that what you think uh, and uh, we would really like to hear from you on youtube on linkedin yes please if you yes. have new ideas to deal with it i'll be happy to know about them yes yes please, please share what works for you or if you want to learn more about this and kripa we if uh, you think of some other good topic or you know you want to talk about something we would like to have you again with us sure. it will be my pleasure <laughs> <laughs> thank you so thank much thank you guys oh. hopefully it recorded it did right